Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to be learning some Hello Kitty Christmas nails, so let's get into it. What's up everybody? Today I'm using the Full Cover Square XXL Tips and the new Nail Tech Who Stole Christmas Gel Collection. So excited to launch these. I'm so excited the for you guys to receive these. The color I'm using for the these. base right now is called I Slay. It's a reflective jelly red glitter. The first thing I'm gonna do after curing this base color is take my Level Up White Liner Gel in my nine millimeter liner brush. And we're gonna be getting the head shape of Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty's head shape is not a perfect circle. It's like a sideways oval. So, yeah. The head shape is very important that you get correct. I start by doing a line over the top and then a line underneath to connect and filling it all in. I actually fill in with my white out bottle gel polish. Now pay attention to what I'm doing here. I'm adding a thicker line above the head we just drew. I'm taking my dotting tool after and I'm gonna add the little outfit using a dotting tool. Just makes it simpler and easier than painting these circles yourself with a brush. Now I'm gonna add two lines on each side to create the body, and then we're gonna connect those two lines with a longer line underneath. Fill it all in, this is gonna be where the body's at. So what we just did with the dots going across on the top, we're gonna just do the same exact thing down here on the bottom. This is the bottom part of the outfit. Now after I have done the dots down here on the bottom, um, I'm just going to be adding the little feet and by doing the feet I'm just doing well you see two little humps down here and filling it all in with white now on top of that thick line that we did at the top of the head we want to do a thinner one that's just going to pose as the part of the hat that's going to be green later we're going to be doing two ears on each side of the head make sure they're not too pointy he has like curved in rounded triangle ears. A simpler way to do it is just by doing a straight line and then connecting two sides like you see me doing right now and then just filling it all in. By now your nail art should be looking something like this. Now we gotta add the bow. So here in my head, I'm just kind of drawing out where the bow would go. I know it's kind of hard to see because it's over the white before, but you're going to be sketching this out later. So just trust the process. I kind of just do this because you can still see where your white laid down on top of your first layer. I'm drawing out the middle of the bow. And then after I've laid down all this, we're going to go in and do two little reindeer horns on the top of the head. Don't forget to just add two little sides to the body where the arms are gonna go, if you have room for that, and then go ahead and cure this in the lamp. I'm gonna be taking my black shading gel now to kind of sketch out where everything's going before I go in and fill it in with color. Shading gel is not just for shading, it's also for getting an awesome, perfect sketch, just like you would with a pencil, because it is the color of a pencil. And later on, you're actually gonna see me use the shading gel to do plaid too. It's an awesome product. Now what I'm doing right now is just kind of sketching out where everything goes. So I'm outlining the outfit part, the bow, everything on the top of the hat area. You want to separate the legs, which I didn't show, by just putting that line in between the legs. And then you also want to add the two lines on the each side of the body to show where the arms are going. This is what you should have. I'm going to be using the color That's Not Santa and filling in the outfit with this color. You also want to fill in down here for the shoes green. And then I'm gonna be taking my Oops I Did It Again red liner gel and I'm gonna be filling in the bow. Next, I believe I used the color Bare It All to fill in the antlers up here. And then taking that same green, you want to just add the little top of the hat up here. Now we're going to be taking my favorite black liner gel, which is the Baddest Black 
by the way you guys everything that i'm using in this video you can find and shop on my website i'm gonna link everything in the description below now getting hello kitty's eye shape is so important not only is the shape important but the distance between the eyes is important and also the size of the eyes is important as well trust me i've done hello kitty a lot and back then my hello kitty's eyes always looked crazy it's all about just getting the right proportion and yeah you should have something that looks like this right now now we're gonna do the nose the nose honey the nose was hard but just use very light pressure and go slow and try to get a perfect little circle you're gonna add little whiskers on each side of the face you don't want them coming too far onto the face because reality they're really hanging off the face but we don't have room for that and then i'm just gonna go ahead and outline everything inside the face the body and all that and watch this hello kitty come to life The last thing that you need to do is I'm using my all that yellow liner gel and I'm just adding yellow onto the nose and curing it and finishing it off with my no wipe shiny top coat. And just like that, you've painted Hello Kitty. Look how cute this is, you guys. Oh my gosh. Now I'm using a beautiful new color from the Cozy Winter Collection called Sugar Cookie. It's such a gorgeous creamy nude. I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my blooming gel Christmas light technique. It always looks so cool. First, I'm gonna be taking my liner gel in the color platinum, and I'm gonna be getting the outline of the Christmas lights string. You wanna do a really, really thin, fun, wiggly line going across the nail. Just have fun with it and do it however you want. Then you're gonna just make these little area space thingies where the lights are connected to it. Make sure that you spread these out so the blooming gel doesn't all run into each other and your design doesn't look too cluttered with lights. These are the three, no, four colors that I'm gonna be using to do the Christmas lights with. Um, I'm taking my blooming gel and I wanna do a nice layer, not too thick and not too thin, and then while it's wet, you wanna just drag those random colors on to your nail and watch them just kinda spread. Let them spread for a second. I don't suggest using red. I don't know why, but the red didn't spread as well, but I kind of just kind of tried to finesse it here with my brush. And then I let it sit for a second and bloom. After that, I'm curing it in the lamp. And now I'm going in with my white liner gel. This is just gonna make the colors really pop. Um, it's optional, but I just prefer to do it this way. So I'm just gonna go ahead and draw all my Christmas lights out with the white liner gel. After I've cured my white liner gel, you just wanna go in with the color. You wanna use colors that are similar to the ones that you use for the background. I prefer a tiny bit darker just so it really stands out. 
And for the red, I just did a like brighter red to kind of make it stand out against that harsh red that didn't spread so good right down there, but it's okay, it still looks cool. Go ahead and cure that. And now if you really want to get fancy, you can outline it. I'm just using my baddest black liner gel and I'm going in and getting the outline very, very thinly on these Christmas lights. And I decided I was going to really stress myself out and outline the wire too, but it just made it really look cool. And I love how it came out. Top your design off with a little bit of white highlight on the Christmas lights and some top coat and boom. How cute are those? Last but not least, on the index and pinky, I finished it off with doing sugar cookie as a base and oops, I did it again, red as a French tip. And then I'm going in with the color that's not Santa and I'm drawing two squares. Try to get these squares as even and as crisp as possible because we're gonna be doing some plaid. After I laid down the green squares, I went ahead and cured that in the lamp. And now I'm taking my black shading gel after and I'm just going to be getting like this translucent, loose, translucent looking effect going straight up and down the side of the squares and filling in all the middle. Make sure you do it pretty thin so your green is still popping through, but you kind of want to darken that green. But if you do it too thick, it's going to cover your green. So don't let that happen. I did cure that in the lamp and then I went in and did this. So cure it and then go ahead and do it again. Now you see how it covered up my green. I'm taking my Slim Shady blender brush. Yes, that's the new baby blender brush. Such a cute name and brush. It's an amazing brush. And I'm just kind of cleaning it up. I want it to be more thin. So I'm thinning it out using this brush. I'm gonna cure that in the lamp and now I'm gonna go do the same exact thing down here. After I cure that layer in the lamp, I'm gonna go in with my white liner gel and we're gonna get the straightest line ever going down the nail. And then we're gonna do it here over the green square and another one over the green square. I'm gonna go ahead and cure that and then I'm gonna do another line. But then I'm gonna cure it again. And then after I cure it, I'm going in with the lime wire and look at how cool this looks. I'm obsessed with this plaid. Imagine this on all the nails. After that, I'm just gonna use the platinum liner gel and outline this French, make it nice and crispy and we're done. These nails are so cute for the holidays. I love how they turned out and I hope you guys did too. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell so you never miss one of my tutorials. But y'all gotta let me know in the comments, which nail is your favorite? The plaid, the Hello Kitty, or the lights? I hope you guys would try this design and tag me on Instagram, TikTok, or wherever. And I will see you guys in another video soon. Bye guys.